Now, Egypt stands to lose millions of dollars every month in income due to Britain and Russia's decision to suspend flights to the country. Now, this is after a Russian plane crashed in the Sinai Peninsula late last month. Several airlines uh, have suspended flights to the Red Sea resort of Sharm El Sheikh since the incident, which investigators and Western governments believe was likely to have been caused by a bomb. Now, thousands of Russian and British tourists have been flown home. Egypt Egypt has dismissed these claims, saying investigations are still ongoing into the plane crash and it's too early for any conclusion. Now, Egypt's tourism minister says the country is bracing for a drop of $280 million of revenue per month. Now, this in the wake of the crisis. Now, joining us from Cairo to give some insight into the beating uh, the country's economy is getting is Yasser uh, Hakim. Yasser, great to have you on the show. Now, before the, this plane crash, uh, Egypt was already going through a tough time. It was already struggling to recover from the 2011 revolution. Now, how much has has this uh, plane crash worsened the country's economic outlook? Yes, it's giving a bad news for the uh, Egyptian economy. Um, when you lose around 2.2 billion Egyptian pounds per month, that's the losses expected uh, out of tourism. A country with a 10% deficit out of GDP uh, surely it will affect, uh, we know 300,000 people are employed in that, so unemployment will increase. Uh, we know uh, there are a lot of hotels, tour operators, companies that work either directly in tourism or other businesses that deal indirectly with tourism. They will all face uh, a downturn in the, in the next uh, few months. A 5% growth target will not be expected to be achieved. Egypt was hoping to get a 5 to 5.5 percent growth this year. I don't think at this rate, if the tourism continues at this rate, that it will not reach the targeted uh, growth rate for the country. Mm. Well, yes, yeah, so in terms of the currency, we just saw the central bank attempt to preempt a, a collapse yesterday. Now, analysts say there's no way it can avoid a devaluation of the pound at this point. What is your take on this? I, I agree with this. Um, the central bank poured in around a billion dollars uh, from its uh, reserves uh, to help uh, balance the pound, also to help the importers uh, to fund their uh, buying or importing basic products to the country. But this is only temporary. Uh, this will not help uh, the economy much except for a month or two. But if the economy stays as it is, then the pound will eventually go down again. So we're talking about temporary uh, if you may say, uh, dealings with the economy, but not a real permanent solution to the economic crisis or to the Egyptian pound. So I expect it to go down again in a few months' time. Mm. Well, thank you so much, Yasser, for that insight. We'll keep following that story. Of course, he's joining us uh, from Cairo. Now